Oh no, fear is everything. Yeah, like if if there's if there was one uh, concept that I would uh, suggest to people to take a daily confrontation with is fear. Um, the 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 problem with fear is that it lies, right? So fear tells you, hey, you know, if if you say that to that girl, she's gonna know she has you you know, and she'll never really be attracted to you <laughs> if she knows how much you attracted to her. Don't say that, no. How we get her is when she walks by, ignore her. Right. <laughs> right. You know, it's like, Pop it on your shoulder. fear tells you dumb shit like that, right? <laughs> you know, so, you know, for, for me, the, the daily confrontation, um, with, with fear has become a real practice for me since about three three years ago, um, I went uh, I went skydiving in Dubai, right? And skydiving skydiving is a really interesting confront with fear, right? So so what happens is you go out the night before and you you know you take a drink with your friends and somebody says yeah we should go skydiving tomorrow and you go yeah we'll go skydiving tomorrow yeah yeah and you go yeah. And everybody goes, yeah, right? And you go home, by, you by yourself, you're like, hmm. <laughs> right, you're like, well, yeah, I mean, they, they was drunk too. <laughs> right, so, so maybe, maybe they not, maybe, they, maybe, I mean, we don't have to go, we don't have to do it. <laughs> so then that night you're laying in your bed and you just keep, <laughs> and you're terrified, you keep imagining over and over again, jumping out of an airplane and you can't figure out why you would do that right and you're laying there and you have the worst night's sleep of your life but you still have the hope that your friends were drunk right so you wake up the next day and you go you know down and you say where you were going to meet and everybody's there you're like oh shit um, <laughs> all right all right cool 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 right so you get in the van and you don't know that your friends had the same night that you had because they're pretending like they did. They're like, yeah, man, my uncle's a Navy SEAL. And you know, this is going to be great. I've been looking forward to this. And you're like, oh my God, oh my God. And your stomach is terrible. You can't eat and everything, but you don't want to be the only punk who doesn't jump out of this airplane. And then you start, and you, you start falling, you're falling, and you, there's zero fear. You realize that the point of maximum danger is the point of minimum fear. It's bliss. It's bliss. The, the lesson for me was, why were you scared in your bed the night before? Why did you, what do you need that fear for? Just don't go. Why were you scared in your bed 16 hours before you jump? Why are you scared in the car? Why could you not enjoy breakfast? What, 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 what did you need that? The fear is, Fear of what? And then in that moment, all of a sudden, where you should be terrified is the most blissful experience of your life. And God placed the best things in life on the other side of terror. On the other side of your maximum fear are all of the best things in life, you know? <laughs>